still trying to figure out me. Right. Like we're all just trying to figure out who we are in our relationship, you know? So. Yeah. And also like you're trying to figure out you, there's no real way you could figure me out. No. Because you don't, you don't know what's, you don't know what I like. If I'm not telling you everything that I've been through. Right. There's no way you would know what I've been through. So you're, I might be dealing with a level of trauma that you have never seen, whether it could mm-hmm. be me just grabbing your wrist. That might bring mm-hmm. a level of trauma, but I don't know that. Yeah. But then every time I do that, it sparks a rage mm-hmm. or I don't even notice that I'm doing that, but it sparks a rage for you. Mm-hmm. And then now that I'm thinking we're fighting because of XYZ. <laughs> this, but actuality, the fight is it's because of a this, touch. A, yeah. a touch, yeah. because you may have, have had some traumas as a kid right. growing up or during your teenage years of something that yeah. is affecting the relationship. But at that time, the work was never done. Right. So if and the you work, don't even know that there's work to be done, that's right. the problem. So if you, that to me, if you're questioning, man, I'm, I'm thinking about going to therapy. I'm Just not sure. The, mi- the, be- the the fact that you're having the thought means that you should probably go. Yeah, you should definitely Welcome jump on to We the Doms. My name is Ian. It's your boy Patrice. And we, we are, are the, the Dominiques. Dominiques. The podcast where we explore love, relationships, friendships, and everything in between. We know that relationships can be both beautiful and challenging, especially when it comes to navigating family dynamics. From dealing with difficult in-laws to blending families, we'll dive into the unique challenges that come with family relationships. But that's not all we'll cover. We'll also explore topics like communication, intimacy, trust, conflict resolution, sharing stories of our own experience and those of our guests. We believe that a healthy relationship takes work, and we are here to provide you with guidance and support as you and your partner navigate the roller coaster ride of love and life. So grab a drink, guys, get comfortable, and join us as we dive into the world of relationships. Let's, Let's get, get it poppin'. Pop Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, guys. All right. Today's topic is how has therapy helped you in our relationship? Not not uh, physical therapy, just like mental mental health. therapy. Yeah, I was gonna ask that too. What are you, yeah. what are you talking about? Mental, mental, physical. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So how has it helped? Mental. First off, I get I get mental therapy and physical therapy, so I do both. Right. It has it's been a while, but um, mental therapy has helped me in our relationship actually kind of blossom like in the sense of it's helping me with myself, mm-hmm. um, which is pretty much helping me be more open and communicative to my spouse. Mm-hmm. Um, it's helped me a lot before. I think it was hard to communicate with you, my emotions and how I've felt and actually just being scared to approach the situation, mm-hmm. but starting therapy has helped me like broaden my thought process. You know, it's helped it's helped me try to see it from from your point of view, mm-hmm. you know, versus just always thinking from my point of view. Um I mean, therapy is amazing. I really believe everyone should try it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what 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 would be your your biggest takeaway? What what is that thing you've learned in therapy that you can say, oh, because of this thing that I've learned through therapy, mm-hmm. it allowed me to, you know, allow the relationship, you know, our relationship to flourish, or allow our relationship to become better or take our relationship to the next level. Hmm. Hmm. I got to think about that. <laughs> gotta think about it. That's yeah, a good one. That I'm is getting, a good one. I'm I got no questions. That's just a good one. I gotta think about that. I got them questions today. Um, you feel me? I don't know. I might have to skip that and think. Okay, about think it. about it a little bit. Yeah. In the meantime, I'll talk about how therapy has yeah how helped how therapy me, helped you <laughs> um with our relationship. So with me, I think it's been I've been in therapy for oh, four four years maybe. Mm-hmm. Four four years, um, four years. Initially, it was every week. Mm-hmm. It was every week in the morning, Saturday mornings, uh, every single week. Um, 
And then, you know, as I got better and better, we went to every other week. Mm -hmm. And now it's at the point where it's like once a month if needed. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but therapy has helped me tremendously. Um, because with therapy, what it sometimes, you know, not that you didn't listen to me, but it's like sometimes I want to vent something out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I can't necessarily get it out all the way. Like sometimes I just want to get it out mm -hmm. without interruption. Just mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. until I'm done. But then, you know, even if the moments you let me get it out, you might make a facial expression that I'm like, oh, I want it. Uh -uh. Now I'm going to hit you with <laughs> do, 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 do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And there, what therapy's done for me was that it kind of, for one, it let me get it out, mm -hmm. right? If it was something related to you mm -hmm. or not, it doesn't matter. Even if it was something related to maybe a, a different family member or something that I experienced that week, right. um, being able to get it out was something that I, I definitely uh, got from therapy and also the different perspective. Mm -hmm. So for me, I my therapist is a black woman. Right. So I wanted that was something that I specifically look for. Like, look, I don't I don't want no other race than black. And then she has to be a woman. Right. Because mm -hmm. I just wanted that feminine energy mm -hmm. back um, when communicating. Um, and then uh, I mean, finding her shout out to her too. finding her was um, it wasn't a challenge, but I had like other people in mind. Mm -hmm. And then once I kind of narrowed it down to like two or three people. Mm -hmm. And then I think at the time I, the, the, the company I was working for offered uh, four free sessions. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're called EAP employee assistance program. And they, it's a, if you work for a company, if you want some therapy, definitely check into your EAPs. Um, but employee assistance program is what it's called. And then, uh, I think I can't remember the company it was with, but they were um, she wasn't part of that, their network, mm -hmm. but she's who I wanted to talk to. Now, I had no reason other than she just looked like somebody that just nice and was willing to talk. And then I reached out uh, to them. They reached out to her. Mm -hmm. She accepted it. Now, granted, my name is Patrice. She thought I was a female initially. So she was like, oh. This lady want to come talk to me? Sure. Come on in. <laughs> right. And then mm -hmm. um, when we first, once I filled out all the paperwork, she's like, oh, that's a dude. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Whatever. Let's keep it going. And then, you know, four years, three, four years down the line, she's still uh, my therapist. Um, but I think when it comes to relationship wise, therapy is, especially for yourself. And that's like the biggest thing is just the self care. Like, mm -hmm for yourself is, especially if you're dealing with things, like yeah. if you're dealing with things and you can't get it out, you know, what happens in that case, you take it out on the person's closest to you. Yeah. Right. Whether it's your parents, your sister, your brother, your spouse, your kids, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So um, with therapy, it allowed me not to take that frustration and anger mm -hmm. out on the people around me. Cause then, you know, once you go to therapy, you, you start to, understand like oh this is a trigger for me right you know this is oh no this is i'm starting to feel those feelings mm -hmm. you know and you know you get to talk that stuff out with your therapist um now i'm gonna answer the question i asked you what was the number one thing mm -hmm. <laughs> i think for me the number one thing i would say is understanding my triggers right mm -hmm. learning because i've learned Throughout those years, I've learned so much about me and what I, my likes and dislikes and my triggers. And, you know, I, I had to deal with past traumas and mm -hmm. kind of get a clear understand. Oh, that's why this happened. And this is why I do this now. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. So because I understood that, I think that's been the biggest thing, because mm -hmm. now if you do something that may have triggered me years ago mm -hmm. and I get triggered again, I know, I mean, I might still, I'll get the feeling, mm -hmm. but then I'm able to kind of snap myself out of that. I'm like, Oh, that's the trigger, bro. Mm -hmm. That's not because she did this. Mm -hmm. That's because you're relating what she did to something that happened 10 years ago, 20 mm -hmm. years ago. Right. You know, wherever that trigger is, that's you're relating it to that, mm -hmm. you know, and 
granted that a lot of that came from therapy, but I also like, as you know, I've done a lot of mental work mm -hmm. when yep. working with a mental advantage coach yep. that also has helped me as well. So it's like double, like one is therapy and the other one's coaching. So one mm -hmm. is therapy helping me with, you know, traumas and, 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 you know, different areas in my life. And the other one's a coach where it's, it's not so one-sided with therapy, you know, therapy, I, you know, you go to let it out and then they might give you mm -hmm. a little something at the end to kind of help you with that. Or it might give you something to work on. Whereas my coach is more of a back and forth. Right. So I've also done that. So that's what from them too, definitely is the um, awareness of self. This mm -hmm. would help me the most in my relationship. I would say the awareness of me and just knowing what the triggers are, understanding mm. that level, like, oh, she, okay. she stepped on my shoes. Oh, that's when, <laughs> you know, in the third grade when that kid stepped his muddy boots on my shoes, like yeah. stuff like that, yeah. you know? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that's good. Story, that's a but... good, that is a good takeaway. Um, as I'm thinking about it more and more, that's you similar to what you're experiencing. I think what has helped the relationship so much for me is understanding myself, mm -hmm. you know, just like, you know, you understanding, getting to know your triggers and everything. So yeah, pretty much finding out who I am, what I am, like what, why these causes affect me in my relationship because like you said in the past i could ex respond so different than i did before as i do now just because i've gotten therapy it's just been such this open experience to learn so much more about myself and i think in return of learning so much about myself i know what i want you know i can I can relate that to you. I can like express it to you. And it just helped me open up more into mm -hmm. understanding you, understanding myself. That's pretty much what I've gotten so far. I, I know there's still a long way to go. <laughs> yeah. What would you say? Um, what would you say is something that you saw from me mm -hmm. in, before and after therapy? Before and after therapy. So like not before, before I started therapy and after I started Okay, therapy. so I, I could say the difference between then mm -hmm. and now. So the difference between then and now, I would say before you were not as communicative. You, you really kept a lot of things to yourself. Mm -hmm. And you probably still do keep a lot of things to yourself, but you're just so much more open to talking about it if we put it on the table. Um, I would say that, yeah, that was probably one of the biggest things, just being more open, you know, before you weren't, before you kept a lot of that to yourself, you didn't really talk about it. You kind of just maneuvered in a way where I could not understand. And I know in return that kind of like shifted us a little bit during that process, but because we've learned to, these things about ourselves mm -hmm. that we're just so different now, we can we can comprehend so much better without getting offended or, you know, just being upset at each other because we feel a specific way. Now it's so different. Now we're like trying to understand where we're coming from. You know, we want to know the other person's point of view mm -hmm. so that we can actually get something situated. But before it just seems more like, I don't know. I don't want to say childish, because you childish, if huh? it was childish. No, I don't. I don't know if it was child. I don't. I don't even know if I have a word for it. But I, it's just so more being so closed off, you know, just not giving that energy to me. Whereas though now our energy is like flowing like water. So be mm, water, my friend. <laughs> so would you say so? The it's, so before, what do you mean exactly by closed off? So, um. Are you talking in reference to when something has happened or just in general? Like, mm. or if, if if you know something's wrong, I'm just not communicating that with you. Yeah, just or is it just, just in general, general if 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 something happened or I could come home as like little to yo, hey, what's up? And that's closed off like that. Like I'm not communicating at all with you. I don't, I don't know. I have to like think back 
to way back then because the you now sh overshines the you that was before. Right. So it, it it's like, I don't think about it. You know, mm. it's so irrelevant to who we are now, to who you are now. Like, I don't, I really don't even recognize the person that you used to be before, you know? I mean, you're still your same silly, funny, you know, that person. Keep going. <laughs> sexy you know okay. <laughs> but um yeah i think we just hit this period when we were younger where we just stopped communicating at one point um mm. because you know i was busy with the kids and you were working and hustling you know trying to get us you know ahead where we needed to get to so we were both playing our parts but in between we lost that communication okay at one point you know we we lost that communication because it did feel like a let me come home from work and then, you know, hey, what's up? Yeah, play with the kids a little bit. Talk to me. How was your day or something? Or if, if we did communicate about how our day was and it was just, you know, all right, well, I'm going to go back to the hustle, you know? So, and it was like not a lot of communication because it was more so, oh, don't bother your dad. He's busy or, you know, and then I've got stuff going on like, oh, he just wants to close us off that's my thinking because of what i'm experiencing is you know he just wants to close us off because i don't know what the hell's going on i don't know what's going on in his mind he's not telling me things like because now that i were older i could see because you're processing you're trying to figure it out mm -hmm. and you just didn't communicate it back then but now it's completely different now everything is an open book you know so <laughs> Okay. That's just how it was for me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what are you thinking? Nothing or anything. It was oh. just, I was just, okay. I mean, I wanted to see if there was um, a difference from, in your opinion, what mm -hmm. I was back then to where I, where I am now. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I didn't see it necessarily that way. Mm -hmm. um, I think, the person that I was before, mm -hmm. I could definitely say it was, um, I, I didn't communicate well. Um, mm -hmm. but I, I think in terms of how I communicated, I didn't communicate well when something was wrong. Right. Um, I definitely didn't communicate well when like something was wrong with me and I wanted to, I may have wanted to get it out, but I didn't know how. I didn't mm -hmm. have the right words or, you know, or right. maybe I was feeling some shame right. or whatever it is. I didn't know how to communicate that coming, uh, just saying those words out to you. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that outside of that, I felt like I communicated well enough um, when things are fine of course you yeah know, when, it was like when things are up. fine it's just normal it's just but um normal i would say that um what has helped me with my communication for sure has been the fact that i am uh more aware now um the level of awareness that i have now compared to what i had before mm -hmm. to me in my opinion is night and day um, because I'm no longer centered on those, you know, those things. Mm -hmm. Like I'm no longer thinking, oh, sh you know, like, or like I'm no longer carrying in better words, I'm no longer carrying those heavy burdens mm -hmm. that I had that I placed on myself. Right. Excuse the same me. way you would be holding them today. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those burdens that I placed on myself, you know, four or five years ago are no longer there. So those that weight is off my shoulders because they're they weren't my burdens to carry. Right. So I just automatically just took them. I'm like, no, oh, no, it's cool. I got it. That's mine. Right. Let me get that. Just put that right there. I got it. I'll take care of it. Well, it makes you think that, you know, when you're in that environment, when you're like when we were younger mm -hmm. and you're in the environment, you just kind of take everything from everyone. You don't know that you have a choice to not have these burdens on your shoulders. You just think, you know this is this is what it is like this is how we're supposed to operate but to be honest once you once you get some type of mental clarity whether it's through 
you know, getting therapy or mental advantage coaches or, you know, just a coach is so much that you can learn that you can say no. You can just take those burdens off your shoulders because they really don't belong to you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the burdens, I mean, there's 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 so much that goes into therapy. A lot. Um, and like, especially when you get the right person in your corner. Yes. I think it's, I think when even going for a therapist, you should definitely interview that person. Yes. Maybe do a little one-on-one and interview them and see if that person is a good fit. Right. For you. And, you know, if, if you guys vibe, because I know for me, <laughs> starting out, my therapist would tell you, it wasn't, it was, she was a good fit. But it, it was, I was like, as you said, I was very closed off. So mm-hmm. if she would ask me a question, like, mind you, I'm paying like for this, right? I'm paying for this. And meanwhile, I'm still, she's asking me, I signed up for everything. She's asking me like, yo, so, you know, what's going on? How you feeling? <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. And that's, that's the old you. Yeah. It's like, I'm good. That's the old you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm good. She's like, okay. So how was your week? <laughs> It was Chill. cool. It was cool. You know what I'm <laughs> I went to work, came home. You know what I mean? That's and, as much and, as she could get out of you. And then she was just like, so she was she would work mm-hmm. to kind of get me to talk. Now, right. eventually, of course, it got better, and uh, you know, I became more communicative. Um, and I, I would talk. It was just the first 15 minutes would be just me getting there, and then she'll ask the right question. Like she always knew how to ask the right question, and right. boom, and then it was like. All right, we'll get in and be like a car putt putt before it kind of mm-hmm. takes off and be like, yeah. sh- sh- and I'll start going. So it was like that. I mean, for me, uh, it, it took a, a a while, and that's why I wanted to work for with a woman mm-hmm. in general because mm-hmm. I didn't want any, I didn't want my mind to create up, create any scenarios mm-hmm. where I couldn't communicate with the person. Right. With if it's another dude, it, it might create a scenario of like, oh, he judging me. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, well, if I say this, I'm going to sound soft, you Mm -hmm. know, if I, you know, stuff like that. So that's the primary reason why I wanted a woman was Mm -hmm. to be able to communicate that without necessarily the the, my own ego getting in my way because I don't want to say things because of the judgment. Which wouldn't work because you sign up for therapy and then you're looking at it in an egotistical way and it's like. Right. But uh, that's the mental games that your mind play on you, though. Like, that's the that's, that's why therapy is so important. Is I very, wouldn't have been able to notice that without doing the work right. of going right. through ther- therapy. So that's why I think therapy in a relationship is key, because if I could become a better me, that means I could better do better in the relationship. I, agree. I could I agree. deal with my own emotions. Now I'm not relying on you to handle the weight of figuring me out right. for me. Right. Because at the same time, I'm still trying to figure out me. Right. Like we're all just trying to figure out who we are in our relationship, you know? So, yeah. And also, like, you're trying to figure out you. There's no real way you could figure me out. No. Because you don't, you don't know what's, you don't know what I like. If I'm not telling you everything that I've been through, right. There's no way you would know what I've been through. So, you're, I might be dealing with a level of trauma that you, have never seen whether it could Mm -hmm. be me just grabbing your wrist that might bring Mm -hmm. a level of trauma but i don't know that yeah but then every time i do that it sparks a rage Mm -hmm. or i don't even notice that i'm doing that but it sparks a rage for you Mm -hmm. and then now that i'm thinking we're fighting because of xyz (laughs) this but actuality the fight is because of this a a touch because you may have have had some traumas as a kid growing up or during your teenage years of something that yeah. is affecting the relationship. But at that time, the work was never done. Right. So if and the you don't work, even know that there's work to be done. That's right. the problem. So if you, that's to me, if you're questioning, man, I'm, I'm thinking about going to therapy. I'm you not sure. The, mi- the, be- the, the fact that you're having the thought means that you should probably go. Yeah. You should definitely jump on it and do it. I, I've had two therapists. Actually, I had, one that I initiated initial initially started out with mm-hmm. and um, she's a white woman and very intelligent, very smart. Like she has her own practice and she, in the beginning, like you said, like I'm an open book. When I talk to people, you, you're a closed book, right? But when we started, you could not get nothing out of me. Same way you were. I think 
I cried so much in the beginning that it was like, there are no words right. and it's so new, you know, but it's so necessary because you got to get through those hurdles. Mm -hmm. And uh, with this woman we worked with um, for a while um, until I started to realize, I don't know, I think I need to see somebody else, someone who looks like me, someone who could possibly relate to me. Cause not saying we didn't get a, a lot done through those, um, sessions because mm -hmm. we got a lot of mental work clarity breathing and you know just calming down the sense of who I am so that I can actually hear those voices that are trying to get to me mm -hmm. and once I had that little breakthrough it was like okay I think it's time to see someone that looks like me someone who can actually understand the deep endings of my issues that can actually like really see it mm -hmm. so now I'm uh, awesome Asian woman. Um, and to be honest, she really gets it. Like she can see it clearly. Like I can bring up stories from my childhood and she could relate like that, you know? So just having the relate relatability with mm -hmm. someone that is helping you and not judging you and actually just trying to hear you out has, that has just been so helpful for me. Yeah. So helpful. Therapy is dope. Therapy is great. Mm -hmm. it, what's funny is we've, I don't think we've ever gotten a counseling for like marriage therapy. Right? Yeah, we Not never had I, a... I don't think we needed, but. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't be opposed to it though. You know, like. I mean, why not? It's, it's any form of therapy is good. I'm not yeah, I wouldn't be it. opposed to it, but I, I'm also not going to be like, yo, yeah, we definitely need this today. You no. Know? <laughs> but if it was like, yo, you guys, well, y'all got a free session of a couple's therapy thing. I want to do it. Yeah, try. sure. Let's go. Let's give it a shot. What um, we got to I would need to make sure that that person that is performing the couples therapy is somebody that is married. Like I'm, I'm just of the mind. Like you have to have had or have had uh, the proper experiences. experiences. Yeah, like I can't. I, I'm not. I mean, I, I would take marriage advice mm -hmm. from somebody that's not married. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've been divorced and right. like you had, but if you've never been married, and you know. I'll listen, but I don't, you're not, that's, all right, cool, thanks You're not going to, you're not going to validate me. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be like, oh, yeah, bro. But I, I, I'm not against any therapy, any, uh, you know, especially with behavior health. Um, like I said, for me, I, I even got, I went as far as hiring a mental advantage coach who's, mm -hmm. who's a phenomenal woman who's been, you know, rocking with me for about, I'm going on almost two years, almost, it's been a little over a year now, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, it's it's been such a journey of uh self development mm -hmm. during these last you know for especially when covid hit yeah you know i had it like that's when kind of the mental health thing kicked off for a lot of people for a lot of people especially but like COVID. i was already in therapy at that time right, and yeah. you know making that transition being home full time yeah instead of being you know going in and out of the office it's yeah. like yo that was you know, for me, it wasn't that much of a hard impact because, right. you know, I was home with my family, mm -hmm. but also I had my issues. therapist yeah, to yes. talk to, to talk through things with, you know. Um, so that's why for me, I think, you know, getting a good, solid therapist is solid. You know, mm -hmm. shout out to I use what psychology today. Yeah. To find her and you know they're not paying me no money so shout out shout out to psychology today yeah, i should cut a check um <laughs> but i use them to kind of find yeah my therapist and i always i would recommend all my friends i yep. did the same thing like look if y'all looking for somebody yep. go to psychology today you know look for somebody that you think you could work with you know right. so i preferably i went for somebody that i wanted an african-american i wanted it to be a woman mm -hmm. boom and then if you have, you know, if you're of any other race and that's what you want, go get what you want. Eventually, at a certain point, I would, you know, I am going to switch over and like focus more of a mm -hmm. guy and get the male energy. But right now mm -hmm. with my therapist, it's, it's working fine, um, you know, and I'll make that change when I need to. But I think that therapy in a relationship is crucial, like. Unless you already know yourself, if you don't, if you like somebody that's just, but even has if you that know gift, yourself honestly, you can tap into so much more of yourself too. Oh yeah, like I'm it's, just saying it's about never I, ending. Yeah, I'm just talking about for somebody that 
you know, because not everybody feels like they need it. If you feel like you don't need it and you're yeah. you're comfortable with who you are and how your relationship <laughs> works, yeah, you go. You're I'm Gucci. not gonna lie. In the beginning, I did not want to do therapy at all. I was totally against it. I'm like, what can this person tell me about me? I could tell myself about me. Up, oh, lied, lies. You don't know yeah. shit about yourself. <laughs> yeah, but it's also like it's they're not even telling you nothing about No, they're you. not. They're just helping you. You're discovering your horizon. Yeah, you're discovering you in that moment, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I mean, I mean, I wasn't the I wasn't I grew up in a household where, you know, I'm African American. My parents are like, therapy, what? That's white people stuff. You know what I'm saying? First off, and it was like my parents go, don't even know the word therapy. You know what I'm saying? It was like yeah, that's why people stuff. And they were like, you know, go talk to your priest or you know, whatever church, go give your confessions, you know, and stuff like that. Like you didn't need that, just go give the confession. Mm -hmm. So it was like yeah. it wasn't it wasn't necessarily super frowned upon and like in my household, but it wasn't something that was promoted either. So it was just like that. Either you that deal with it in, in my household. Yeah. Either you like it didn't. We didn't talk about it. Yeah. That's, that's what like, I'm saying. It was like never. It wasn't even something we brung up because that's what I'm saying. it wasn't even a word in our house. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. You. It wasn't frowned upon like people would talk. Like, oh no, you better not. It wasn't promoted either. It yeah. was just like that's what they do. Yeah. It was more so along those lines. That's what they yeah. do, and it was just like, all right, whatever. That's what they do. So I'm gonna yeah. focus on that. So you either when when you were dealing with stuff. You had to just either deal with it yourself or if you, you know, if I listen to, you know, my elders go talk to the priest and mm -hmm. give a confession. I'm like, well, I don't want to talk to him. That was not that was we didn't even have a place to go talk to someone and give a confession. It was more so, oh, something's wrong with you. Let's pray on it. Let's yeah. go to the temple. Let's get the monk to bless you. Let's not talk about the issues you have and how can we tackle it. Mm -hmm. Let's just give you a you know a blessed string yeah. and wrap it around your arms and let's yeah. pray for and the that's best. <laughs> that's cool i think that's i mean that's it's great cool if you know if that's what you believe in you i'm not but we need more i think that you probably do need a more of course we need more to kind of get that because it, it's not it's not that that doesn't help it might help a little bit but yeah. sometimes the help is you just getting it out yes Right. Sometimes and if you have somebody that you trust enough that's able to let you out, that's a solid listener, then you Gucci. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about mm -hmm. for those that may not have that. Yeah. Or you might be too nervous to talk about that. And you just want to talk to somebody else. You know, sometimes like you, it's like <laughs> it's funny. Like, I think about it like uh, it's sad part. I ain't going to say it, but I'm going to say it anyways. It's like a prostitute. Wow. You pay them to leave. Wow. You pay a therapist to listen. Right. Just, just listen to what I got to say real quick. Yeah. They might give you a little something at the end. Do, 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 do. Here's the thing. Of course, a, a therapist's job is way better than a, a prostitute. I'm just saying. Like, I mean, to each their own. You know, you love the job. You I'm love saying, job hey, do your thing. Is. I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying a, a therapist, you're paying them to listen to you. Um, because sometimes when you're talking to your spouse, talking to your friend, you know, we all had those conversations. The minute you start talking, like, yo, man, this is crazy. This is what's happened in my life. <gasps> you too, bro. Let me tell you what happened. And you totally get off the topic of you, what you were just talking about. Yeah. So, I mean, I get so it. So, it is very important. It, it is, I would definitely recommend if you can, because, you know, therapy is not cheap. And there's a reason why, you know, these people are highly educated. They've done the work. They, support you in your life like it's yeah yeah it's so important yeah to have a confidant that you can actually be yourself yeah a trusted and person not saying that you can't be yourself with your spouse because we've talked about this but it's a different level of confiding in someone yeah, it's just a trusted person that you know you can go to and it's a judgment free zone mm -hmm. you know it's more so like well, if you feel this way, let's figure out why you feel this way, right. you know, versus if I say, you know, honey, I feel this way and, you know, it's really bothering me. And then the answer back is like, oh, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't know what else to, how else to yeah. help you, mm -hmm. you know, versus going to a licensed therapist and they have the knowledge and how to come back at that and how to help you grow from that. Yeah. 
the yeah, therapist definitely is good. And there are tons of programs out there, although some therapists can be expensive, but there are tons of programs out there, there that offer of free yep. therapy. Um, you know, there's different um, organizations that you could sign up for. You um, contact your yeah. insurance company. They'll give you some therapists will do the work mm-hmm. pro bono. There's grants available for that. So there's plenty of opportunities out there to go get help if mm-hmm. you need the help. Um, you just have to take the steps in you looking for the, the help. Um, like I said, for me, I started out with my uh, the company I was working for at the time. It started out with four free visits. Mm-hmm. And then after that, we kind of started using insurance. And then after those four free visits, I think it was another company I started, another company they worked with, they upped it to 16 <laughs> free visits within a calendar year Mm -hmm. so it was it was a lot of aid out there so i think there's plenty of help of course for anybody that's looking for it you just have to take the steps and find it yeah i agree i agree and those little steps help you get to where you need to get to rather you think it's working or not things take time Mm -hmm. and you really have to give yourself grace and patience, you know, because it's working. You just may not see it right now, but it's, it's working as long as you continue to keep going. Exactly. Trust the process. It's, it's so worth it to invest in yourself. Yeah. When you invest in yourself, you're investing in everyone else in your community because your energy is falling into everyone in your community. Right. Right. You know, it's in everyone's best interest to get this my way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So in closing, I do agree that, you know, getting therapy um, is, is definitely a positive for a relationship. Yeah. You know, um, and not just like a couple's therapy, individual therapy. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think it's super dope for a relationship. And if you can, you could afford it. If you can't afford it, figure out a way to pay for it and get the help if needed. Right. And, you know, it just I've had friends who uh, will say to me and even family who said to me, oh, my goodness, therapy is so expensive. How can you pay that much every week? You know, like just to sit there and talk with someone. I'm really investing in myself, just like someone would go invest in a a Gucci belt or, you know, a Versace this or whatever, like a bag, you know, like a Birkin bag. Like that stuff is so materialistic, which is no problem with it. Like, go ahead and enjoy yourself. But I would definitely try to rearrange the way you process that because investing in yourself, I mean, it's a no brainer. Yeah. It's a no brainer. Yeah. So you keep all that information in here and it helps you here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying invest in yourself, folks. So that's going to be a wrap for today's episode of We The Downs podcast. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. Let us know if you're in therapy, how has it affected your relationship? Mm-hmm. Or how has it helped your relationship? You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. See you next love time. Love each other. Peace. all for this episode of we the doms we hope you found the conversation insightful and inspiring if you like what you heard then don't forget to subscribe leave us a review and comment like share all the above your support helps us reach more listeners and continue to bring you the best relationship insight until next time take care and keep loving peace